We are following up on an investigation by Virginia Attorney General Mark Herring's office into the Virginia Beach Police Department. Now, Herring's office found at least five occasions where detectives used forged documents to get information from suspects. It happened over a four year period. Ten on your side, Andy Fox spoke with local attorneys about the investigation. And Andy, what did they tell you? Anita, one told me they think this could be the tip of the iceberg. They have never seen anything like it before. That in one instance, the forged document was actually presented to a court as evidence. He's done two we interviewed Portsmouth delegate Don Scott, who was actually in a closet at the General Assembly. He's concerned about the Virginia Beach police investigation. The police, by law, can uh, be uh, a little deceitful, by law, and can lie and try to trick you, and that's what they did. Attorney General Mark Herring found at least five cases where beach police used forged documents from forensic science to get confessions. Entice people to make incriminating statements with DNA evidence. Evidence that is manufactured. Imagine if it was a murder case and they had DNA there and they said, I know I wasn't there, I wasn't there. And they have DNA and the person says, well, I'll plead to the manslaughter. Your lawyer comes in, your lawyer doesn't even believe you. 44 years, Sonny Stallings, a prosecutor and defense attorney. I don't know how many clients are gonna call me tomorrow and say, hey, what about my case? Did they lie in my case? Was the evidence good in my case? During the investigation, we learned the name of one of the five victims of the forged documents. He's supposed to soon plead guilty to a serious crime. If he were your client, what would you tell him? He would not plead guilty at all. I would challenge this. I challenge his statement. Vice Mayor Rosemary Wilson concerned with the report. We want to catch the bad guys. That's obvious. However, we want to do it in a fair manner because at the end of the day, our, our integrity is really important too. But it should also be noted, once the issues were uncovered, Virginia Beach shut down the practice and agreed to change the way it does business. Today, I reached out to former Virginia Beach Police Chief Jim Cervera, who was chief when most of this was going on. We asked him about it, and he reminded me he's been gone for two years, and he defers to the current chief, Paul Newdigate, who is now given credit for cleaning this scandal up soon after learning about it. In the newsroom, Andy Fox, 10 on your side. Well, thank you, Andy. That's a lot to sift through tonight. Uh, Virginia Beach's current police chief is responding to the investigation. So uh, he just spoke with 10 on your sides, Brett Hall. Brett, like Andy said, this all happened before he got here. So what did he tell you? He says he learned about it on April 28th, that there was a complaint that went up to the state about this. And he says in two days, he sent on a memo making sure it doesn't happen. Now, over 9,000 investigations were looked into this, and only five times was a practice like this used where the Department of Forensics for the state had one of their, well, it wasn't theirs, their seal was used to try to possibly trick a per suspect into giving a confession or cooperate with police. He says, well, the, again, like Delegate Don Scott was saying in Andy's piece, it is legal for police to use deception as part of their tactics. This was a line crossed too far, and he says the reputation here, understandably, is taking a hit because of it. But he is ensuring that it will not happen again, and it has not happened since he has been chief of this department. Remember, he did not come in until late 2020. This last was used according to the attorney general in February 2020. So again, he says all meant to the command staff that was here at that time, they're gone. There's new leadership now. And he says it's important to note that they will be going forward using legal practices that does not take the name of anybody else's work into account. We'll have a lot more for the for you coming up tonight on Wavy News 10 at 6 live at police headquarters. Brett Hall 10 on your side. Thank you, Brett.